Hey, I'm the Cathlon Gamer. Welcome to Mountain Blade 2, Banner Lord, episode number one. Game has finally released. It's still in early access. We finally, 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 after a thousand flipping years. Well, okay, maybe not a thousand. But this game has been number one on my wish list for over three years. The long, long, long awaited sequel is released with campaign mode available. And that is where we begin. We're at the very beginning of choosing our character's culture. Ah, let's go with the Sturgeons. Oh, well, okay, here you go. There's there's some good information. They, they all have bonuses. Let's check this out one by one then. Okay, 20% less speed penalty from snow, which is certainly a good thing if you're fighting in that region. 20% more Upgrade XP to troops from battles. Ooh, interesting. So they'll level up quicker. 20% construction speed bonus to town projects, wall repairs, and siege engines. Caravans are 30% cheaper to build and 10% less trade penalty. Not a chance we go with it. 10% extra speed bonus for horsemen on campaign map. Not when battle. And the Batanians. Forests give 10% less speed penalty to parties. Uh, Tamians being able to move about through the forest, certainly a good thing. Sturgeons, you're very much st stuck to an environment that has snow to have any benefit. The Vlanians' benefit is constants all the time. Let's, let's go with the Vlanians. Pretty wicked. All right, uh, that'll do that. Let's see if we should add any markings, though. Uh, considering the culture, I don't think we're the type to be marked up too much. Nice little scar could be a good thing, but no, nah, we'll, we'll leave that out. Choose my family. Ah, okay. And this may have. Something to do with not fighting attributes, but family were merchants in one of the main cities of the kingdom. They organized caravans to nearby towns, were active in the local merchants guild. Let's do it. Urban merchants, choose your early childhood. Oh, that's me as a kiddo. I even have my hair. That's awesome how they've done this, by the way. That's that is badass. I, as a child, you were noted for leadership skills, my brawn, my attention to detail, aptitude for numbers, your way with people, skill with Aptitude words. for numbers, which is going to turn me into, give me a real advantage in the start uh, in terms of what we're going to do with our group. Having a double on trade is certainly a good thing. I'm going to get a lot more uh, money back. Let's do it. Aptitude for numbers. That was as a kid. As an adult, yeah, I'm just good with numbers, but I'm not great. Oh, hello, adolescence. There's more. I, I love this. This is so detailed. And look, I'm getting bigger. I had a growth spurt. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of going all out into uh, intelligence here early on, but I would imagine these points start getting more expensive. That does give us a bit of an advantage onto our youth. Stood guard with the garrisons. Okay, that's intelligence again. Engineering. Crossbow. Rope with scouts. Okay, bow and riding. And endurance. Not bad. Train with the infantry. Okay, one handed and vigor. Join the skirmishers. Bow, control, throwing. That's crossbow, intelligence, engineering is nice, rope with the scouts, riding and bow and endurance. That might be, that is probably going to be the best. And this has that real world uh, connection that I was a scout in the U.S. Army. So there you go. Uh, in my youth, you know, my advanced youth. 
They're more like the young adulthood, but you know, hey, hey, it's, it's fine. Plus one to mercy, generosity, and honor, plus five renown. Looking a little chubby here, though. Choose your story background. Man, oh man, they are detailed. In this new edition, like many families in Karelia, your life was upended by war. Your home was ravaged by the passage of army after army. Eventually, you sold the property, set off the mother, brother, blah, 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 along the way, and end. Staying by attack by the parents were slain, and the two youngest siblings seized. But you and your brother survived because... Massive advantage here. Wouldn't be so good at pretty much anything, though. <laughs> Let's do it. Why not? Why not? My name is Decathlon. We determine the game a difficulty. Uh, I, I, as much as I want to go with the very easy for the first one, and it's been a long time since I played. No, we're not going to go very easy. But I also don't want to go out and die uh, immediately. Friendly troops received damage. Friendly parties received damage. Player received damage. Recruitment difficulty. Okay, maybe we just need to go realistic here. Map movement speed. Realistic. Choose if the heroes are able to die on the battlefield. Tempting. Tempting. No, that's that's where I'll save myself. So everything else realistic. I will unenable I will not enable death and I will not auto allocate either hopefully if you get to this point of the video and you weren't freaking out that it took so long uh, you'll be okay that we uh, we got here all right no gad brother it's been three days now we've been tracking those bastards i think we're getting close we need to think about what happens when we catch them how are we going to rescue verich and alda are we up for a fight this looks like an old training field for the legions perhaps we could spare some time and brush off our skills practice could come up useful when we catch up with the raiders going around the course I need to know if I can fight if I have to. Uh, you know what? I don't think I need the tutorial on how to fight, though. We have no time to lose. We could do more if we split up. So do you think we'll catch up with the Raiders soon? And how should we prepare for the fight? Uh, let's go ahead and skip the tutorial. That one you could save for a tutorial video. We've already spent long enough in the character creation. So, uh, yes, I'm sure about that. Let us split up and look for the little ones separately. I'll send it you a word. I'll find them before you do. Uh, one other thing, brother. We want people to take us seriously. We may be leading men into battle soon. Let's give our family a name and a banner like the nobles do. Nice. I like the UI here. This is this is pretty, pretty cool. Free focus points. We apparently have one. We have no attribute points, though. So the attribute points should be here. The focus points are going to be here. Now I definitely will need to develop my one-handed skills for now. I think we might need to stick to developing bow. Not sure what the one 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 is. Oh, okay. See, we're high enough that we get something. Uh, Icebreaker, when introducing yourself to lords for the first time, have 10% chance to gain plus two relation with them. Diplomacy, 15% reduced barter penalty. Engineering, we have one here as well. There's only one available. Construction, speed of building castles and walls increased by 30%. There you go. Okay, can we add a focus point? We can. Oh, 
The focus point is your learning rate up to a level. Interesting. So we're going to learn bow more quickly. So we are merciful, honest, and generous. It's nice. Yes, let's apply those. Rebuild your clan. Okay, Caridia is a land full of peril, but also opportunities face challenges that await you. will need to build up your clan. Your brother told you there are many ways to go about this, but that none forego coin. Trade would be one means to this end. Fighting and selling off captured bandits in, t uh, in town another. Whatever path you choose to pursue, traveling alone would make you easy pickings for whomever can cross your trail. You know that you can recruit men to follow you from the notables of villages and towns, though they may ask you for a favor or two uh, of their own before they allow you access to their more valued fighters. Naturally, you may also find more unique characters in the taverns of Calradia. However, these tend to favor more established clans. Interesting. So they do seem to have uh, developed a bit Increase your dinars by a thousand. We have a thousand of the two thousand that we're looking for. Grow your party to twenty minute, twenty men. We have one, right now, um, and we have that investigation. Let's go ahead and take a look at our inventory briefly. Wow, this is beautiful. You buy helm, cloak, okay, leather tunic. That is the training field. We need to leave the training field and we're going to need to uh, set out. I suppose we need to tech what the quest is first. As you explore Calradia, you can learn more about the artifact and its importance by asking any lord or lady about the Empire's recent history. Okay, there is a town nearby. Southern, Southern Empire. Rose primary production is sheep. We don't know about any parties over there. Hours after you leave the training ground, you come across a wounded man lying under a tree. You share your water with him. You try to dress his wounds as best as you can. He tells you he is a traveling doctor to thank you for your help. He hands you a small bronze artifact, which he says was once given to him in payment by a warrior who said only that it was related to Nerezzi's folly. He suspects it might be of great value. You resolve to find out more. Did I just make myself the Cathlon Gamer Gamer? I might have. I might have. <laughs> Doesn't need to be huge. There you go. Okay, so. Go left click to get out. Let's go visit town. Tevia. Lands around Tevia are owned well, mostly by Pharaoh. Arcane of the Southern Empire, the village is going through hard times. Farm tools are rusty and broken, brush and weeds are reclaiming the outermost of fields. Take a walk through the lands, take hostile action, recruit troops. Certainly somewhere I'd like to start. Looks like two characters here. Well, let's start by looking into uh, recruiting some troops. Imperial recruits. You don't have enough. You don't have high enough relation to acquire this troop. The minus one. You need zero. About this one. The minus two, and I need zero, which means I need to develop. See if there's any recruitment we can do. I have zero. Need ten. Minus one. We need five. Can't recruit anyone yet. Ah, okay. You have some sort of exclamation point. Ah, there's something. See, deliver the herd to Diathma. Okay, we'll talk to you. See if we can get a quest. 
something that maybe we can then fulfill to recruit some people. That's the goal, anyway. That's the goal. Hi, sorry. I don't think I know you. Okay. Okay, seems to be a common message that most of them. Heard you may need some help with a problem. Some of the families in this village need to raise a bit of money. They've put together a herd of 12 sheep, Diathma, but with all the banditry on the roads, they can't drive it there on their own. We're not merchants or landowners. Can't afford any losses. Well, I can help. If you're going in the direction of Diathma, you can perhaps take our herd there to Dogface Turiatos. Some villages will come along as well to help you drive the animals. Villagers, not villages. You can assign a companion with two men. They will be enough too. Both ways works fine for us. I promise if you or your men manage to deliver the herd safely, I will pay you 400. So what do you say? Deliver the herd to Diathma. Diathma. We're going to Diathma. So where is Diathma? Oh my goodness, there's Diathma. That is a long ways away. That's a very long ways away for us to travel. We should be very quick though. So it looks like we made it to uh, Diathma pretty quickly. Hopefully I've actually done what I needed to do, meaning I've brought... what we needed. Uh, we wanted to meet with... was it? No, Dogface. Yes, sir. Mutual friends sent me word uh, to us. He told us to expect you with 12 head of his sheep. There we go. 400 gold. And that's our first quest completed. That's nice. And we'll get a reward as soon as possible, which was actually already immediately interesting place to be meeting him. Tessa the Mouse has some sort of Thing that she can do. Nine loads of oil. Let you have them for 500 coins. Can't ask fairer than that. It's half the normal market price these days. I wouldn't try to sell them here. They might be recognized. But go to the next big city and no one will be any wiser. So what do you say? Uh, we certainly can't handle a fight if something happens with this. But, let's do it. Got them hidden under some loose rocks. You can dig them up right before you leave the town. Interesting. Hopefully I don't get a fight. 
going to retrieve them. Now, how do we figure out where they are located? If 416 refuse, and the authorities here will treat you as a common criminal. Huh. Uh, make ourselves a criminal here, or lose some money. Well, we do that and we can't return to town. Oh, that's the whole Northern Empire. Well, that's a shame. The whole Northern Empire. We went up by two. So we need to get out of here. Here. Oh, well, I suppose we should leave first, right? Wow, why are we so slow all of a sudden? Are we loaded down that much? But I'd rather start acquiring this stuff through combat. So maybe we just take our pay and move on. Okay, also I leveled up, so what do we get now? Two focus points. will certainly be handy, uh, but I think something along these lines. Stewardship, that's already pretty high. Go with medicine? Sure. wonder if we can catch these guys. Forest bandits, just three of them. All three are ranged, though. 
be an easy kill if we could get in close. Probably have some loot. But let's see if there's any troops here first. There's a lot of people here. But none of them have troops we can acquire right now. Oh, we need to leave first. I don't know if we want to fight them. It looks like they are being pursued. I think we need a few more troops before we uh, actually... You know what? We'd have help. These 67 are chasing them. If we can catch them, they'll be in the fight too, right? If this is anything like the previous mountain blade. Surrender or die. Yes, it is. 67 and 6 versus 3. But we initiate the fight, so join the battle. Sure, let's get in there. Oh, I'm excited for this. <laughs> That's good odds. <laughs> I'm not even sure we're even going to get a chance. I would imagine a bunch of them are going to be mounted. Little lag starting out. Uh, I need to get my guys coming forward. Please, thank you. All five of them. Nice if I could see where they are. You guys already on them? Oh, you are. That was quick. See? We won the battle and we never even had to pull out our bow. Yeah, see, we never even got to do anything, but that's okay. That is okay. Because maybe, just maybe, there's something on the other side of this experience? Something? No? There is a quest here. Let's see if there's troops that can be recruited there are brings us up to eight let's also see deliver the herd to Seniopa why don't we see where Seniopa is Seniopa that's actually not that far that is not that far, and that would pay pretty well. Let's do it. We'll talk to him. Okay, I don't have official companions right now. Another 400 coin. Another quest completed. Like that nice, quick, easy way to earn some money. And not that we have a very good group right now. Uh, we are getting there. It, it is getting better. Is there anybody though? No. Oh, 
there are some quests around and as for those quests we're we're gonna have to just kind of get into them in time uh, i'm finding that we now have an advantage over some of the groups that we'll face uh, but i've got to be careful adding into those battles and play it smart uh, be nice if i had some ranged units myself uh, to go into those fights with but it's fine it's fine so we have the keep here tavern district that's a, a good place to uh, potentially recruit some of those companions and yeah we're up to 1800 so we started with a thousand gold we've already added 819 to that total uh, we've added eight people to the party not that they're strong but we've got a little bit of food and a little bit of a growing uh, group of a party so you know it's not a bad start at all uh two crime in the northern kingdom wasn't great but that's okay uh and that's gonna do it for this first episode i'm decathlon gamer thanks for tuning in be sure to hit that like button, especially with a new series and a massive game like this, massive release. There's going to be so many different YouTubers out there putting together series, and I, I do have a smaller channel, so it would really help uh, if you do hit that like button to get this one out there amongst uh, the others so that it does pick up some views, not just yourself, but thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Be safe out there, everyone. Bye for now.